Hello guys, welcome once again. In the last video, I have shown you how to show the number of rows in your database table in real time in your C Sharp Windows Farm application with local database. So, for example, we have four rows in our database table. It shows four rows. There are four rows in the table. And when I delete some row, it will immediately change or update the number of rows okay so that's real time now in this video I will show you how to add next and previous button to your database C sharp application it will just work like this so for example this button moves the data next or previous these buttons we will add the functionality same like these buttons to our application now you must be thinking that if these buttons are present here you can just select this button and just check what's there in the button click event but when you see in the button click event there is no code available for you okay or when you double click it in here also there is no code available right so I will show you how to uh, make these button uh, manually and how to write the code for these button so I will go to the toolbox I will take two buttons one button I will say for example this button and I'll go to its properties and I will change its text as next and I will also change its uh, name as next button and this also as previous button and I will change the text of this button as button previous okay so we have next button and previous button so first of all I will just click this next button and I will say here just copy this name of your binding source so the name of your binding source maybe uh, whatever your uh, table name is and then the binding source so just select binding source and copy the name of the binding source and paste it here and just add a dot and say move next okay and bracket closed and in here you just close it with these brackets same thing you will do for the previous button so just copy this binding source dot move last okay and now when you run the program and when I click next it's moving next and when I click previous or it's uh, we have written here move last this should be instead of move last we should have written here move previous so just delete move last and add move previous here and now it should work properly so run the program next when you click next and then from previous button it goes to previous right but suppose you just have one line or one row of data then you don't need these next and previous button so what you can do is in the last video I have shown you how to add uh, this counter which counts the number of rows and I have added a 
timer tick event here so in your timer tick event just go there in the timer tick event and if you don't know how I added this timer tick event just watch the last video and I have also added this count which was counting the number of rows okay so now depending on the number of rows I will say if my count which is the number of rows in the table is smaller or is greater than 2 because there should be minimum 2 uh, two rows so that we can use previous or next button right so just add a bracket and just copy the name of your button which is next and previous button so first next and I will copy the name of this next button and I will say next button dot visible is equal to false okay and in the same way I will say for previous button also previous button name and I will say previous button also dot visible is equal to false so it will disappear these buttons if it's less than so just make it l less than 2 and else you can say else make it visible okay and I will add a bracket here okay so now when I run the program you see here there is no button because my condition is here it should be true okay so if my number of rows is less than 2 in the database it will sh not show these button for next and previous and when in the uh, any other case it will show those buttons so when I run the program right now you can see the buttons because we have more than two rows and you can use this next and previous button let's delete some data so I delete this data and I delete this data and it's right now also it's equal to 2 so it's not uh, agreeing with this condition which is less than 2 so if our data is less than 2 see here it will just remove these buttons so just select this and I will delete it and you see here there is no next button present here but when I click add new it appears two buttons or you will be able to see these two buttons when you add new data in the database right so in this way you can add next and previous button and use them with your local database application i hope you have enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye